This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. With the date set to return to classrooms, we learn more about the plan with the Hazleton Area School Board President next. Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Ken Kerr with your local information. Some COVID-19 mitigation restrictions have been lifted and some have been changed by Governor Tom Wolf. Outdoor events can now have 20% occupancy no matter the venue size, only if attendees and workers can keep six feet apart and masks must be worn. Indoor events can have 15% occupancy no matter the venue size with the same social distancing and mask requirements. Also, the out-of-state travel ban has been lifted. Janine Lassant learns more about the plan to return to classrooms in the Hazleton Area School District with School Board President Linda DeCosmo in today's news feature. First of all, the teachers will be coming back, uh, as you know, on uh, March 15th. And then Mr. Upplinger is going to bring back on March 22nd the autistic, the life skill, and um, the uh, seniors at the Career Center that have shop. And then April 12th, um, he's going to bring back all the students. Now, that's going to depend on how many are coming back. At this point, we don't know, and I'm sure he's going to get a number. Um, and if there are a lot of them coming back, uh, then he probably will do a, a hybrid where they're here uh, you know, two days and then they're off a day. If there aren't that many that they can be socially distanced, then they'll be there for five days. And so we have busing. We know that students will be going back. Um, they will get notification if it will be hybrid. What are we looking at as far as the safety standards, procedures that each building uh, will be implementing, you know, obviously it's a, a newer format of they are going in person, but again, it won't look the same as it did uh, when no. we were in school last. That's why they, they're going to have the teachers come back early so that the teachers can, because um, a lot of them have not been in their rooms since uh, last March. So they're going to have to go into their room and assess what they have to do as far as dis distancing the uh, children. I know in elementary, probably, because uh, I'm more familiar with that, is they will be taking desks out and having them distance. And uh, also, they... Um, Coming in in the morning, they will be probably taking their temperatures. And um, we have uh, all sanitation in the rooms and the uh, maintenance staff will be cleaning constantly. So I'm, once the children uh, leave, they will be wiping down the desks. And I'm sure the teachers will also be doing the same thing with that to take every precaution that they can. Can their, can their child still stay home and use uh, the computer. So will teachers still be offering online and yes. in person at the same time? My understanding with that is that um, the children that are going to be home on the computers will be working with the teachers that uh, are also going to probably stay home. I can't see that working in school with them teaching the children in school and in person. So in other words, if I'm the second grade teacher um, and I'm staying home, I will get the second grade uh, students from that school that would probably be staying home. Will graduation be in person? Have we made decisions on that yet? We had put some ideas across and we definitely are going to try to uh, have an in-person uh, graduation and uh, I, I guess I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit. And we, um, we want to uh, see if we can do something for the prom uh, yeah. because the kids need that. Now we don't have, uh, you know, Janetti's being closed. Uh, we have to decide what we're gonna do. And believe it or not, Mr. Patron has been already thinking about that, but we also, we want to do something for the seniors. Uh, we were thinking of having uh, some kind of a senior day with them. And uh, we, we threw all this across to Mr. Patron last night. And uh, he said, give me a week 
to uh, work on it. And he, believe it or not, has been thinking about it. So yes, we are going to try the best we can to do something for them because uh, as you know, last year, uh, for those seniors to miss out on everything, uh, that was a travesty. I mean, you know, it was very upsetting and we don't wanna see that happen again. And uh, like I said, it's funny because we started discussing that last night as to what could we do so that we can have something for these seniors and they have some normalcy in their, um, you know, in their education in their last year. So uh, it's in the works. Uh, Mr. Patron's uh, gonna get back to us in about a week with some ideas of uh, some different things that we could do. So yes, we are going to hopefully try to do that. Today's news feature is brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Remember, in an emergency, our emergency room is the safest place to be. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. On Tuesday, it's sunny with a high near 30 degrees, with wind chill values as low as negative 4 degrees and wind gusts as high as 39 miles per hour. Tuesday night, mostly clear with a low around 20 degrees. Wednesday is sunny with a high in the 40s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a low in the 20s. Thursday is mostly sunny with a high in the 30s. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a low around 20 degrees. And Friday is mostly sunny with a high near 30 degrees. And Friday night, partly cloudy with a low around 20 degrees. Here's the SSP-TV standard speaker scoreboard at the AA Southeast Wrestling Regional. Nate Wickersham of Tamaqua won gold at 215 pounds. At the AAA Northeast Regional, Hazleton Areas, Seth Hunsinger was second at 215 pounds. The Cougars' Bryce Molinaro was third at 189 pounds. And Beck Hutchison was fourth at 126 pounds. All four will be wrestling for a spot in the state championships at the East Super Regional this weekend. And now a few noteworthy girls basketball games from over the weekend. North Schuylkill beat Jim Thorpe for their second straight Schuylkill League title. You'll hear from some of the Lady Spartans in our sports feature. Hazleton area finished the regular season with a win over Dallas. Finally, Weatherly beat Marion for the first time since 1992 with Ashley James scoring 30 points. Coming up, the foreman of a local company talks about snow removal in the area. In the SSP TV Spotlight, find out how the Lehigh Valley Health Network is handling the pandemic in Schuylkill County. SSP TV News, blood sends sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Lawrence J. Carosa, age 51 of Exeter, formerly of Freeland. Mass will be held on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at St. Anne's Church. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge for arrangements. Margaret Kundrick, age 93, of Chapel Hill. Services will be private on the Hillary J. Bonin Funeral Home. Lynn Snuevez Rosario, age 57, of Hazleton. Mass will be held on Wednesday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church. Friends may call Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Joseph B. Cottonham Funeral Home. Mark Sador, age 52, of Drums. A graveside service will be held on Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the Calvary Cemetery in Drums. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Douglas Sahina, age 36, of McAdoo, a graveside service will be held on March 6th at 11 a.m. at St. John's Memorial Church. The staff of Brensick Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Barbara Wood, age 76, of Ringtown, private services will be held at a later date. And Tracy Lynn Wood, age 54, of Calayers, services are under the direction of the Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmony Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.